how much a human life is worth. The life that someone has and someone else takes it away. What do you think? Is there any value in a human life? If someone loses their life, if a child loses their life, who and how may benefit? Why does a child or many more children have to suffer or even die for whatever some of their elders want to claim or settle among themselves? The injury or death of any child is neither acceptable as an act of war nor as a heroic act. It is a moral and cultural collapse of any group of people, of any human society. What you are watching here is not a documentary, a historical report or a legal trial. It is, however, one thought about many others. It is an expression of a personal opinion on a current and burning issue that I believe concerns us all. And it concerns all of us because we were all children at some point. Nothing more and nothing less than that. And we may need nothing more and nothing less than that. The question that fills my mind and won't let me rest is Do we need to end up sacrificing people of any age, especially young ones who have no responsibility for anything, in order to solve problems that human societies have? One important reason that triggers this problem is the human perception that we are powerful and that we are in a position to exhibit our power wherever and however we choose. We have evolved quite a bit and have accumulated quite some knowledge. We have evolved the technology and the means at our disposal. We have shared the land as if we owned it. We have imposed ourselves on the rest of the life on this planet, or so we feel. And we extend that imposition to our own species, any humans next to us. We have gotten to the point where we can kill every other species of life, and the exact same tendency and attitude some may have and apply towards other people around them. Of course, nature does us no special favors. No matter how strong we feel, no matter how strong we think we are. Nature shows us both where we are and who we are. It shows us its strength and our limits, no matter how much we try to overcome them or even ignore them at times. It shows us how much we may have misunderstood our self-proclaimed dominion over every other kind of life. We are just another species of life on this planet, exposed and affected by everything that happens on this planet. Natural disasters, floods, earthquakes, storms, climate change, ice melting, extreme weather events and much more all show us that we humans are and still remain just another link in a huge chain of life and parameters all important for our survival. No matter how much we may have misunderstood our position and role, our power and our attitude towards life, nature never misses an opportunity to remind us of our misunderstandings. Even though nature may show us our mistakes and exaggerations, this place of power between humans continue to unfold in various fields in the form of warfare and disasters. There are many open fronts of conflict today, the most prominent being the war between Russia and Ukraine and the most recent one between Israel and Palestine. Broadcast and social media are filled daily with images of violence, horror and pain with a background of soil dug up by bobbings drenched in blood. I may not be myself an Israeli, nor a Palestinian, nor a Russian, nor an Ukrainian, but I am a human being just like you, just like those who are fighting right now and some of them are being killed. Some may wonder why do I bother, why do I care and why do I speak my mind about what is happening. 
The reason that I'm speaking to you now is that I feel strongly concerned about every war and every violence, no matter where it unfolds, just as it concerns those directly involved. And this is because violence has no boundaries and war has no borders. They pay no respect to boundaries and borders. They transgress and violate any boundaries and any borders. This is what violence and war are all about. It is important for all of us to understand that violence and war can at any time affect any of us and all of us, and me and you and all of our children. It can come to your doorstep, to your neighborhood and to your country. That's why it always has to concern us all, wherever and whatever happens. Because all we can do now is for all of us to understand that violence and war can only be prevented and avoided. Not to embrace it and get caught up in the maelstrom it causes with all the consequences it can have on the lives of all of us. And I keep thinking about who might have what reasons to inflict so much violence and pain on so many people. On conflict fronts, it is the weakest, the most vulnerable and the least protected, the one who is most often affected from the consequences of the application of violence. The organizers and directors of scenes of violence are usually more prepared than anyone else for what follows and are therefore less affected than everyone else. In every act of violence there is always the source, the originator of the violence and there is also the target, the recipient of the violence. In every act of mutual violence the source of violence becomes the target of violence and vice versa. In such a condition the positions and roles may alternate, but violence remains, it is recycled and reinforced. Violence breeds violence, and this is a fact as old and early as human societies. When violence is expressed, it provokes a reaction that is usually violent as well. Action with violence causes reaction with violence, and violence can be perpetuated. Also, violence can never be an argument because it is not an argument. In fact, anyone who employs violence probably has no argument. But one may also feel that uh, they can no longer argue because the other side is no longer debatable. And in such a case, violence is not the solution because it cannot provide a solution. It is like some people starting a fire which is likely to burn both themselves and anyone else, everyone around that fire. The expression of violence, the response with violence to the expression of violence, the recycling and self-exacerbation of violence can consume every energy, every resource of every side. And resources can be consumed until every reserve on each side is exhausted. For the simple reason that violence is self-perpetuating with no solution and no end. If one can look at whatever reasons, whatever problems, disagreements, dissents exist and come up with a solution at that level, one could possibly bypass any expression of violence. If violence has already been expressed and if it has already been met with violent reaction, then a cessation of the recycling of violence requires mutual work at the level of reasons on both sides. One might ask now that if such an attitude were so simple, no one would end up manifesting violence and expressing themselves with violence. In response to this, any alternative to violence may not be so simple, but on the other hand, the cost of violence is most often unbearable. And who is willing to pay that cost? Will it be the weaker of the two opposing parties? Will it be the party on the other side and not me? How can anyone be so sure that they themselves will not be affected by the expression of violence? Who may consider themselves that much strong, that much protected and safe that they do not feel any threat when violence approaches them? 
Could it be perhaps an overestimation of the capabilities of the one who chooses and applies violence? Could it be an underestimation of the risks they may run? Could it be a naive or reckless attitude towards life? Could it be an ignorance or indifference or even apathy for the importance and beauty that their own life and the life of every other human being already has or can have? Could it be a game of demonstrating power and imposing one's power over another, just like we all might have done in some of the games we played as young children? And if it's one more game that some people want to play, they may well choose to play any other game. Any other game without victims and losses. These little children I would like us not to forget and to give them the chance to keep on living, to play and grow up. Exactly as some others have already done for us and we made it to survive and be here alive and talking. Perhaps some people should never forget that they remain human beings and that they will never make it to become gods. Even if they manage to impose themselves on anyone against them, they are still human beings and not gods. And everyone around them and against them is human too and nothing less than that. Perhaps we need to think again for ourselves and all together for all of us that human life has its own value, which may be different for each one of us, but remains absolute for all of us. And what can that be, for which the life of a human being, the life of a child, is worth sacrificing or losing? Could it ever be worth as much as the sharing of some land, as it was shared by some earlier ones and as bequeathed to us or as it is renegotiated by some younger ones? Could it be worth as much as the need to renew the war material which will be expended in the conflicts? Could this or anything like this ever be the reason for a child to stop laughing, to stop breathing? I strongly believe that within each of us there is this deeply rooted faith in man and human life. Just because we all want to live. Just because we are all alive. Just because we were all once children. Just because children are life. I would like to hear from you your opinion and your thoughts. Leave your comments here. Let's be a team. Let's unite in a common effort to improve our lives, to fix all the flaws. Together we are all far more powerful and impactful than any decision-making center. No matter what decisions anyone makes, they can never change our lives unless we accept them. Many more ideas, thoughts, suggestions and videos follow in order to improve our attitude towards our life and our life experience. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep updated of every new video that is released, every new concept for a better life. Thank you for your time and for watching this video.